Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Beasts of Maravilla Island. This cutie photographer adventure game was developed by Banana Bird Studios, published by Whitethorn Digital and is usually available for £8.39-$9.99 but it's free on Games with Gold right now. Who says Games with Gold is crap, huh? So, again, if you don't want to play it yet, still download it so you can love it later. Lotion or not, that's up to you. Uh, I mean, hey, we play as Marina Montez, who, armed with a camera and her granddad's journal, go out to find the centre of the earth with such brilliant casts such as Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Michael Caine and others. Wait, 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 this isn't the journey too. S sorry. Um, but no, we do have a camera, we do have a granddad's journal, and we head to this place where there's lots of animals to film, frolic and have fun with. As for achievements, nothing is too hard, but is missable the first time around if you're not careful. The majority is for taking pictures of everything on each level, but don't worry, there's only like 6 bugs and 10 plants, etc. Not much at all. A few easy, but again, easily missed miscellaneous achievements. And the one I did actually miss was taking a photo of the spirit animal 4 times in different locations. I'll let you know when we get there. Otherwise, things can be mopped up with chapter select. Now it's fun, it's easy, and it can take you roughly around one to one and a half hours-ish. So, with that being said then, let us begin. Now we're going to start a new game once again, as always, by pressing the start button. I'll tell you what, you're getting good at that, pressing that new game start button by now. I'm impressed by you. And uh, what you can do is just skip any cutscenes by pressing the start button and then going ahead to skip. There's only, only going to be one cutscene that we're not going to skip and that is going to be the very final one of the game. But again, I will let you know like six times just before we get there, just in case, because I've been told in the past that I don't uh, tell you enough. So I'm going to tell you like 11 times. So, let's stick to move. Obviously, there's the spirit animal, by the way, you just floated up in the air. It doesn't count here, but we'll need to take pictures of him four times in different locations. So, what we're going to do first then, we're going to run up to this tree, uh, when you have a good little teabag session around right there. Uh, you can press the X button to whistle, again, we'll come to that a little later on. So, whap out your camera by pressing the left trigger. The first thing I'm going to do though, is press Y to go into selfie mode. Yeah, girl! Uh, you can press right bumper if you want to get out some, uh, oh, some hella selfie faces. Sadly, they don't have a trout pout on this one, uh, which is so unrealistic. And then just take a picture there by pressing the right trigger button, and that will get us the invasive species achievement, as long as you've got the ruby red beetle in there as well, and the aspiring wildlife photographer achievement for um, taking your first photograph. So that's the only selfie we need. Again, very unrealistic because most most women's selfies have a bit of, um, you know, extra 20 inches on their lips somehow. I don't know how the hell they do that because I've tried and I can't do it. Unless they suck a hoover on their lips or something. Then, <laughs> Anyway, but we'll come back to that later. So, uh, going into your journal then by pressing the select, uh, the Y button, sorry. Um, you can see exactly what you've caught on the island. Now, of course, on every level, we need to keep, we need to basically have it all full. So we need to co uh, have collected six bugs, and we need to have collected, uh, taking pictures of like six plants or whatever it is. Uh, but it'll always tell you when there's new objectives added in the bottom left-hand corner, and then you can see exactly what you've got to get. So obviously, we've got six bugs and everything to catch there. Uh, so, but it is, you know, it's very easy. Um, you can head off down there, there's nothing down there. We're just going to go past the tree with a red ruby, be red ruby beetle and head into this new area. By the way, you press the left stick in to crouch. Uh, no, the only creatures in Los Angeles are the ones with fake boobs. Uh, just joking. Right, uh, we're going to come up to this tree. As you can see, uh, the objectives as we go into our journal again, by once again pressing the Y button, you can see what we need so far. Um, with the left bumper, we need to collect six bugs, etc, etc. Uh, so, wrap out your camera, take a picture of this butterfly. Now, you'll know when you haven't collected something when it says new, obviously. And if it's got the name on it, it means you've already collected it. So take a picture of the butterfly, a picture of the flower just next to it. And there's going to be a couple of things. Head off to the right, and then take a picture of this flower at the top for the sword finch. And just above there as well, there should be another new item for us to take a picture of. There it is. So, I mean, sometimes it can literally, it, it takes a picture of the whole frame. So, you might not be looking at it directly, but it will still take a picture of it, which comes in mega handy. So, heading over to the left right there, and we're going to get this little cutscene playing. 
And there's something else new, and it is the sparkling lily lamp, which uh, gives us a green erection or something. You've, what you've done is just give a plant a blue pill, and that is the outcome. God damn! Gonna make some money from that. Uh, we're gonna turn around, there's gonna be another plant for us to take a picture of here. Now, don't worry if you don't get the same ones that sort of I do, or if you think, oh, you're missing one. There are literally, the animals and the plants are literally all around the island. So don't panic if you think, oh, I might be missing one. You can either come back, or you can come back with chapter select, or obviously, to make it easier, you can come back to the beginning of the level, etc. But there is literally loads of these plants and loads of the same animals on the island. Um, obviously, I'll just, tr I'll try and obviously tell you uh, what we're catching and stuff like that, so you can follow along with the video nicely and let us let go. So we've just climbed up the um, green erectione. Well, I don't want to call it that, but I don't know what else to call it. Now, more stuff in the journal. So, the four on top there. So the binkies, uh, what you need to do is basically capture them um, doing different things. Now, you don't have to... It, it's basically not hard. So we take another picture of this anthurium on the right here. Uh, they're all story-related, those ones, so don't think that you've got to get it all sort of in one place or you've got to wait for them or anything like that. You take a picture of the binkies here, and that is the first one, and then as we progress the level, the more story-related ones come about. So, yeah, panic, bruh. Right, I'm just having a little look here, and we're going to take a picture of the big giant flower, which is a giant jungle lotus, um, right there. So if you do... I uh, think that maybe you're getting a little bit paranoid. Have a look at the tree above as well. And we're going to take a picture of this thing, which I believe is called... Uh, yeah, I told you it was a Merivillian whatever. Um, but yeah, if you do get thinking, oh, you're a bit paranoid, just keep hold of the camera and just have a look at everything in your general location just to see if there's anything you missed. But you shouldn't, shouldn't be too bad, really. Right, so heading on. We're going to nip ourselves over this jungle lotus flower. That is very pretty, by the way. And honestly, this game is generally, generally beautiful. Um, lo so, so much beautiful stuff going on. I really ha did have a good time with this. So when this thing comes out, press the X button there to whistle, and this big chungus bird will come out. Take a picture of it, and the old kakapoo <laughs> will be gotten. And then we can just move on. Lovely. We're going to take a picture of the butterfly, which is another new thing. Hala. So again, any time that you're taking a picture of something new, just have a look again in your sort of general area, just to make sure that um, you may have missed a flower, you may not have missed a flower. Remember, it's the left stick in to crouch as well, by the way. And that's the last time I'll tell you sort of what to do. But um, yeah, just in case you get a bit paranoid, as it were. So uh, have a look. Sort of at the top right, just in between the trees, there's a banana peel toucan, there's a bird. Plenty of those about, so don't worry if you don't get one now. Sometimes they may be flying, sometimes they may be perched. So don't worry if you get that now. Obviously, always keep checking your journal just to make sure that you've got um, everyone, sort of everything pictured in there. Uh, we're just taking a picture of a blue pale wing thing as well, which is basically straight in front of us. So make sure you grab that one. And uh, just, and this is what I mean, just having a little look now. I'm not going to be doing this throughout all the thing because I obviously know where everything is, so, um, for the majority anyway. But obviously this is what I do highly advise doing. Always checking a journal. Ah, just above this red flower, there is another mushroom. Less magic-y and more barnacle-y. Doesn't taste that nice. Uh, but <laughs> just grab that one. But yeah, always check your journal. As long as you've got a picture in there, that means you've taken a picture of the thing. And you should be as golden as a nuggety nutsack. Right, that's another binky. We're going to skip that cutscene, though. We are. Um, we will come back to that in just a little bit later on. So into this area, we're going to take a picture of a beetle, a grasshopper. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant, of course, on the floor. Then to the right of that slightly is a pink-capped button mushroom. Now that should get us the achievement as well, called Green Thumb. And if you turn around, there's going to be this little bug here, the another beetle, which is on the tree. Moonstone Longhorn Beetle. Sounds extremely American, doesn't it? Longhorn. And uh, I think that is pretty much it for this area. So we can just take a picture and give a blue pill now to the sparkling limp lally. La sparkling lamp lily. And get out the old uh, Hulk. Um, ting. The old Hulky big boy. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. I'm just going to call it 
I'm just going to call it the Hulk. That'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Just fine. There are the banana peel toucans, by the way, if you wanted to know that. On this tree is the new butterfly, the emerald birdwing butterfly. And there is the pl uh, hib hibiscus dove flying as well. Again, if you didn't manage to catch the dove there, don't worry. They're sitting on a bunch of trees as well. Uh, just on this tree, actually. So just before you start climbing up the vines, the branches, and the trees of life, that is where the hibiscus armpit doves are. And, well, goddamn. Now I know why they call it a banana toucan. It's literally a bird who's made a banana skin its home. And it hasn't got moldy yet. That's impressive. Although we've all eaten a lot worse, haven't we? <laughs> Buttholes and everything. Uh, so, we're going to let go. <clears throat> Sorry, I just meant like moldy food and stuff, of course. So we're going to let go. We're on. We're getting higher and higher. Uh, no, not in that way before you think. So we're going to head sort of basically straight as we came off. Head to the right. Oh, in fact, we're going to take a picture of this leaf bug first. So take a picture of the leaf bug, which is on the tree directly in front of you. And this flower, which is, again, slightly to the right of where those leaf bugs were. And there is another flower which we are, well, which I'm looking for, and I'm telling you where it is. Exactly where we are, it's just down ever so slightly. And there are a couple of things, by the way, that will look the same. Um, but there it is, it's just down below the flower that we just took a picture of, and that is going to be the Orchid Buckeye. So roughly around that area, just below that flower, uh, that'll be that one. So after that, we're going to turn to the right, we're going to press the X button here to make a whistle. Uh, this is for an achievement as well. We basically need to get all these binkies into their home. And they genuinely look like just monkeys that just dance for your pleasure. Weirdly. Is that, is that a thing? No, because all the animal activists would be pissed off that monkeys dance for your pleasure. They're not dancing for your pleasure, they're dancing for themselves, okay? Right. I've got that sorted. So... Uh, there we go then. There are gliding monkeys, which you can take a picture of right behind you. Uh, so, after you press the X button and they all get to the nest, turn around there, take a couple of pictures, or just one is fine. So you've got the gliding behaviour captured. From here we're going to turn right, and then we're going to keep going for the moment. Again, always just uh, keep checking your journal, go past this branch, and we go, we're go. we going to go right here. So the second branch we're going to go past. Uh, like I said, always just keep having a look at your camera, just have a little swing around, make sure there may be something that you haven't missed. Come to this tree stump, press the X button to... I mean, this chick's a legend, to be honest, old Melvin M Morona, uh, what's her name, I can't remember. Um, but uh, yeah, she's goddamn good with animals, which is just great. We're going to call her Melvin Ventura. Oh, well, that's not a name, but you know... Anyway, so after the bunch of binkies go there, we're going to go back in our cells, and then from here, we're going to go to the left, and then left immediately again. So we're basically going to go up this sort of branch. And for the final time, then we're going to press the X button again. Old, um... Um... Ah, Marina, that was her name. God damn it, I couldn't remember. It's not Melvin. Marina Ventura here. So when we press the X button for the final time on this third tree stump, that will give us the family gathering achievement. And that's for putting all binkies into their nest. So, nice and easy, that one. So, we're going to head down the branch. Down, 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 down. Let's go to the left. And then what we're going to do here is go immediately back to the left again. Yep, so we're going down this time. So, uh, where we can't breathe at the top of this tree, we're actually going to keep going down. Now, take a picture of this blue butterfly if you haven't already. I'm pretty sure we have. But that's just in case, because uh, it's always a just in case. As we progress, obviously, further into the level, we're going to find new and exciting things, like this bug here on the tree, this topaz rhino beetle. So get a picture of that, and then from here, what we're going to do is head to the left, nothing up the right, and we're going to be getting another missable achievement here. So what these binkies do, we need to capture one of these, um, take a picture of them singing anyway, but to get the a cappella concert achievement, we need to lure out all three singing binkies, and the way we do that is, um, where it's kind of like a Simon Says type thing. So when the binky comes out with a tune, you've got to do the same tune. Now, when it goes a bit longer, take a picture first, of course, to get the singing behavior, but obviously press it once. The, long, the longer you hold the X button, the longer the note is. So... Just listen out for him and see which one he does. Copy them exactly to get the achievement.
good one. So there we go then. Hopefully you've got that without too much trouble. And like I said, it's basically like a Simon Says thing. So we're going to go uh, basically straight the only path that we can and come on to this um, leafy, viney, climby thing. And we're going to go all the way round. And then all the way down. It's very impressive. But she is actually, I tell you what, I'd be knackered just climbing up the one bloody tree trunk, to be fair. Uh, you can take a picture of these, but they are just the longhorn beetles that we've taken a picture of, so we're heading to the right. Uh, we've taken a picture of the butterflies. Like I said, obviously keep checking the journals, see which ones you've got left, um, if, if you have any. Um, but I'll, obviously I'll always tell you when we come up to something new. So we're going to take a picture of these two jungle lotuses to open them up. So somebody's just opened up their flower for the green hulk. Oh, damn. Keep going to the left, because there was nothing to the right right there. And we're going to take a picture. There's a new bird that we're going to take a picture of here. The leaf-winged parrot. And basically, it's how poke it's, it's how the developers of Pokemon start running out of ideas. Where they go, right, let's just chuck leaves on a parrot and call it Leafy Rut. Or Leaf Pa. Yeah, very impressive. So when you've taken a picture of those, you'll get, you should get the achievement for Fruit Basket for capturing all of the bird photos. Uh, you don't need to take a picture of those binkies we did earlier on. And now, oh, whoa, that's a goddamn personal attack. Little guy's trying to pull a woman, but he's not impressive enough. God damn, how many times have I heard that? Too many times. Right, so, don't worry about him. Go to the left and take a picture of this sparkling lamp lily. Nobody come to my rescue, though. Nah. nah. And you're going to see it start bumping and going nuts. We're going to take a picture of the Agile, or Agate, uh, Agate Snail. That's going to get us the All Gem Bugs achievement. Um, the Not Your Average Jewel Beetle. So we've got one butterfly left and to capture a couple of binkies dancing. So you should be exactly on the same as me right now. Go ahead and grab this peach from this lily pad. You'll automatically jump back, so don't worry. Press the A button to pick it up. Press the B button to drop it on this dirt patch or something right here. And now what we can do is go over to your binky bags, take a picture of them, and if that's if that's how easy it was, just shine a light at, there you go, so if anyone wants to pull, just shine a light in their girl's eyes, feed her a peach or something, there you go, you are golden. Right, very, very, very important here, very important. We're going to skip this cutscene. When we go through the bushes, we're going to take a picture of a butterfly, but do not go steaming around the corner, do not go steaming around the corner. Take a picture of this butterfly, that's going to get us two achievements. But what we're also going to do is take another picture and uh, sort of put it on the left side wall. There is a bit of an edit because I messed up. But we are going to take a picture of the island spirit. The reason we're not slamming around the corner is because there he is just hiding around the corner. If you go too far in, he's going to disappear and you will have to uh, just replay this first chapter again in order to get it. Which, as you can see, there are three rare achievements um, unlocking for me right now. Obviously, you're not going to get that. This was just a bit of a little, little bit of a boo-boo for me. Um, but I am just telling you, warning you, take a picture first of this. And obviously, don't take all ten pictures of the island spirit. But just make sure to get that one first, because we need to take four photos of the island spirit. Then we can just run into him when we've... Uh, obviously, like I said earlier, four photos in different locations. Then we can run in and the cutscene begins. Um, and then... That is where we should then get the All Monkey Biz, uh, the Fluttered Bite, and the Jungle Explorer achievement, which basically means we've captured all the butterfly photos and captured all the photos. So, hopefully, um, I didn't screw your head up with that a bit too much because I did mess it up, and I do apologize about that. But we've uh, basically now coming up to the end of the level. So, there's only three levels, relatively short, around 20 minutes each or so. So we can just skip this cutscene. And, uh, yeah. So, again, apologies if I did get a little bit confused in there. But I did try to warn you in fair time that don't speed around the corner. Otherwise, you'll have to replay the bloody thing again, mate. But you should have 10 out of 31 achievements already. And we're going to go around here. We're going to go up ramp. Up to ramp, mate. I bet this woman, M Martin Martinez. or what? Ah, oh, crap, I forgot her name again. Uh, Ace Ventura's sister is basically a lot better calves than me, which is not particularly hard, depressingly enough for me. All this walking and stuff. So, uh, again, don't worry, you obviously can't take a picture of the deer right there. Um, we're going to take a picture of the island spirit in the next level, and then in the th last level, we're going to take two pictures of him. So, keep going. This is now basically the end of the level. So, say I'm ready. 
If you haven't got all of the achievements or you're still missing something, just say wait here and of course go back and grab whatever it is that you're missing. And that'll get us the cruising achievement and we can begin again. So immediately take a picture of these glowy things directly in front of us, the sweet glowing trumpet. And we can take a picture of the neon toadstool as well. And if you walk forward just a little bit and put it just on this sort of tree trunk just in front of us, you're going to see the new icon. <laughs> Take a picture of it, and what that is, is a creeping light blossom. If you can't get it here, don't worry, because as soon as we turn the corner, you'll be able to see it anyway. So, don't worry if you cannot get it there. Um, but it is mad how you can take pictures of things through walls. <laughs> it's like an x-ray vision. Hmm, I could do with one of those cameras. Uh, anyway, turn the corner. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm ill, if you can tell that. Um, take a picture of the fireflies. And also take a picture of the luminous water poppy as well. Couple of things flying around. The next one, just underneath the water poppy and underneath the fireflies, is the gleaming river lotus. The next thing we're going to take a picture of. Oh, in just a moment, apparently. Okay, right. So, in between the bushes <laughs> is uh, Mo Sislak, is the bullfrog. And there is a bat flying around. We're going to take a picture of the bats that are just chilling, and that is the radiant pitcher plant. The bat. Uh, to take an actual picture of it and make sure that it counts is uh, flying around right there, just having a look at the journal, just to see. And there we go. So again, like I said, always worth just seeing how many you've got and how many you need to grab. So obviously um, there's six bats and there's five plants and there's six bugs. You know, the norm. We're, we're there. We know what we're doing by now, don't we? Uh, get at me, we uh, There is the, uh, uh, It's the bat I'm trying to take a picture of right here. Homer at the bat, come on! I'm thinking one can, um, uh, you could just take a picture of them just chilling, sleeping, but it doesn't actually count. You've got to take a picture of the one flying about, which I will get to. Oh, they, uh, son of a, you went behind the goddamn tree! Right, there we go. The leaf nosed lunar bat, we finally got there. Another new thing to take a picture of directly in front of us is the cattail. Uh, so that was literally just in between the trees right there. And then if we head forward ever so slightly, we're going to get another little cutscene. Uh, and of course, we're just going to skip this one as well. I don't need to see them. It's basically just pretty stuff going on, and we can already see the pretty stuff. So, just go forward, and we're going to take a picture of the lily pads now. Giant, bright, yeah, blah, blah, blah. There is also uh, this thing, the tree frog, this thing, the tree frog, just to the right of the lily pad. And that is it for this little area. Again, just to have a little scout around, make sure that you've got everything. If so, we can skip across the lily pads, crouch under, and Bob's your nan's uncle, mate. Right, uh, we're going to go through there actually in just a little bit um, to get a spider. But for now, there is something else new in this area. There it is, directly in front of us, just is the dragonfly. So that was just past the frog right there. And it was actually on the tree. Um, now, there is another new thing, which is basically past the tree, but I don't end up getting that yet. So, if you do see something, if, if you do see something new, which you'll see it for like just literally a second, um, make sure to take a picture of it. But of course, we'll grab that later on. So, going back and under these bushes, onto these green lily pads here, the three lily pads, take a picture of the spider. And there we go then, you're not going to want to get in the way of that, because that looks like it can poison your eyeballs and shove them down your pants as well. So, <laughs> so you can watch it kick the crap out of you. Um, right, so there we go, with that spider done. Oh, there's the new thing then. So we're taking a picture just past the tree, it is the fruit bat. Uh, so that was the new thing which I explained earlier. Uh, so it should just be flying around there, so make sure to take a picture of the fruit bat. That's what they call me, see? You're a bloody fruit bat, mate. Right, take a picture of the scaled otter. You will be taking a picture of the otter anyway, so don't worry if you don't get it yet. There's plenty to take a picture of. Now, come around and interact with this first tree. Take a picture of this first tree right there. So the one, like, directly in front of us, and you're going to catch a picture of the rain frog. So, but again, that's another one if you don't get it yet. Don't worry again, because we'll come to that in just a little bit. I'm just taking a picture of it just through the trees, apparently. So after this uh, after this cutscene, there is nothing else, I believe. Nope, we're just going to uh, keep bobbing across the lily pads. There may be 
one thing sort of sc sc uh, scurrying along the water, but don't worry if there's not. Uh, take a picture of the, the giant sunset bat in between the trees right here. So the sunset bat and the hognosed bat. So there should be two bats to take a picture of right there, just in between the trees. So make sure to grab those two. Up across the lily pads again. And we're going to be coming up to another missable achievement. And this one is called Good Dog for... Well, the... <laughs> The um, description says play fetch 50 times, but we only need to do it 20 times. So take a picture on this set of water, should be right there, or could be anywhere for you, is the Larimar Pond Skater. So it should be anywhere on this pond, so make sure to get a picture of L slash O Pond Skater O. Uh, there shouldn't be anything else, but just have a look, Is uh, obviously always worth having a look around. Um... So yeah, all we got to do now is play fetch 20 times. So just pick up the rock, throw it into the water, and you need to do this around 20 times. Now, it's going to take around 5 minutes of boost in. I haven't put the full 5 minutes in the video, so probably worth just pausing right about now or so until you get the achievement, and then we can just crack diddly on. Flanderino barbecue plane style with humor. So yeah, just keep, just keep playing fetch. There's literally nothing else we can do with this otter. <coughs> Excuse me, otter. For now, so we're just going to keep playing Fletch until the good dog achievement unlocks. You're gonna hear it, you're gonna hear it. Where is it? Ah, oh, the rare achievement sound. It's so goddamn beautiful, huh? Right, so when you finally got that, again, like I said, that's gonna take about five minutes. So with that one done, we can now carry on. Again, whap out your camera, have a little looky around. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're gonna take a picture of the question mark, question mark, question mark, which is the camouflage behavior of the um, otter dial, which again, Basically, it is just a for alligator total dial type thing. So we're gonna have a little play now of hide and seek. Uh, I think we have to do this twice. The first time, I'm pretty sure he's going to be in. Uh, I mean, you can take a picture of the neon toaster, but we've already got that. They should be in the same position each time. So go across the opposite side of the pond, and that is where he is the first time. Um, again, not sure if you have to play it because we're gonna find him again. So I'm not sure if that actually progresses the story a bit, or we can just actually crack on, but we're going to find him again anyway. So go backwards on yourself, and onto the other side of the pond is the second one. Now I do have a little look for him the third time, but I'm pretty sure he is all good. And we don't actually have to find him anymore, so it's just twice that we have to do him. Uh, well, not do him. In fact, he'd do us if that was uh, if that was going to be the case. Um, but no, we are all done. So what we can do is just literally jump across this one lily pad. And there are going to be a couple of new things to grab. First of all is this violet cap toad directly in front of us. And there is also a little another little new thing, which is the neon dart frog. So there's two frogs right there to take pictures of. There is also another little new thing going to be coming up. Don't think we can... Well, take a picture of the Moonlight Glory, which is the blue erection. I mean, the blue thing sticking up right there. On the trees is a ladybug, the black opal ladybug. And just to the right of that, well, that's where you can see the rest of the black opal ladybugs, actually. Uh, so we've got a couple of pictures of them. Then we're going to get another cutscene of angry lion-headed, bird-feeded, griffin thing. Ah, then we can just be all like, bruh, you need to chill your goddamn beanbags, broski broski. Right, so, after all this little bit of cutscene, bloody bloody blah, right, we're gonna have a little look, pretty sure that this is the end of it, doing a little bit of a whistle. We are gonna get another achievement uh, called Lunar Synthesis. Um, if we have a look, not at the top, I think we've got everything we've got that uh, we need in this area, apart from... This little lily pad thing, which is called the Twinkling Night Lily. So take a picture of that, and that gives us the Lunar Synthesis achievement. 
and we are all good. Now we've got to take a picture of one more frog and a, one more bat or whatever. But if you press the X button, that is how you get the... Uh, and obviously take a picture. So press the X button, take a picture of the otter uh, spitting, and make sure to stand behind the flower in order for it to deflower. Then we can go up. Now do not move forward. Do not move forward. Jump off and then take a picture of the spirit island directly in front of us, right by the waterfall. So that should be the second out of four um, island spirit photos. You could just see him literally right just in front of us right there. So make sure to take a picture of that thing. And then the closer you get, obviously, the more he'll go into the waterfall. So if you do miss him, you'll have to just replay the chapter and do this bit again. Uh, take a picture of the toad here on the right-hand side. That's going to get us the hop to it achievement. And just to the right of that is the purple agate, agate, agate snail as well. Again, if you can't find them yet, don't worry, because we've got to go on the big islands anyway. Uh, but if you have taken two of those pictures, on the left here is going to be another uh, woolly ghost bat. I thought it said Willy Ghost Bat then, but no, that is a Willy Ghost Bat. So we've just got one bat left to take a picture of. Is the Celestial Winged Bat, um, and you can see there what we've got left to do as well. Eventually, uh, we're just gonna skip through all the pages. There it is. Oh no, that's the Jungle One. Uh, right, screw it. We know what we got left. Okay, it's not that much to do. Um, so what we've got to do is actually just get the glowing. Uh, glowing otter dial, which we will get after this puzzle, and take a picture of the last bat. That's pretty much all there is. So, hopefully by now you have got the hop to it and the Among the Stars achievement for capturing all the gem bug photos and all the frog photos. Right. Well, let's do the puzzle then, shall we? Alright, uh, well, we're going to walk forward. We are eventually going to walk forward. There we go. We're going to go on this lily pad and then go to the right. There's nothing on the left, so don't panic about that. Nothing, nothing dear. No dead bodies or nothing hiding there. Jump across the other set of lily pads here to get on to this island. We basically need to capture four uh, sets of fireflies. Now, the first set of fireflies is to the left of where we were. There are two uh, up on this rock. One on the right side rock. <clears throat> Excuse me, and one on the left. The one on the left, we can go up. And we can grab these four. Um, and then we just have to do a little bit of puzzling, uh, which involves light. The purple a a a a a gate snail, whatever the hell you want to call it. And, you know, etc, etc. So, it it's easy enough, though. Those purple or blue deep-seeded flowers, uh, we can't get that without light. So, that is why you, it's not being spat at. But anyway, go across these three lily pads to get the second set of fireflies. Wow, so pretty. You think you just, like, ah, oh, fireflies, go tell your muckers to come up here, mate, because uh, I want to get through this. I want to get through this. I want to get through this. I want to get... Sound old as hell right now. So, yeah, as you can see, the flowers are not going to work without light. And the way we're going to do this is, you see the snail with the peach? Luckily, he's so stupid, he doesn't realize there's a peach in front of him. But he can smell it when we pick it up. So pick it up, take it over to the dirt patch directly in front of you. Drop it on there, and then we're going to take a picture of the twinkling night lily. And then, of course, what that's going to do is get this flower up. There it is, right to the rock, so hide behind it, and get your spitter out. Now, we don't actually have to go up it yet, because we can't climb up all the way onto the rocks. But what we did need was just the light beaming. Um, which now I'm thinking... We could have probably just done that with the snail. Yeah, we... Yeah, apologies. Probably didn't even need to do this bit. And I'll tell you why. What we actually have to do to start it off is down to this lily right here. Uh, we could have just taken a picture of... Taken a picture of that lily, got the light shining all the way down to this flower, and then we could have just uh, sprung ourselves up. So I, I do apologize. There was a bit of a needless um, bit of... Backtrack, well, no tracking actually, that was a bit pointless to do that, so, um, yeah, my apologies about that, we didn't actually need to do that, but, what we can do, don't worry about that, now we're here, look, we should just, uh, happily stay behind here, and whoop, whoop, but, there we go, we're gonna fly up, and we're gonna grab the third set of fireflies, and now, what we are gonna do is take a picture of that twinkling night lily, where we got the first set of fireflies, Bam, that opens up the light for that one, 
And now what we can do is do the thing we just done with the peach and the snail. Um, so I got again get it, got a bit of ahead of myself um, and sort of done this in a bit of a crappier order than I wanted to there. So I do apologise about that. But anyway, grab the peach, put it back down in the dirt pile. I um, mean, we've got this flower up and sorted, so you know. We're a winner. We win in the end, right? <laughs> Red. Right, get the water on. Up we go. And again, we are coming to the end of the level. You can always tell because there is a little bit of a puzzle to do. That should be enough for your floys. So, let's get it. Let's get it good. So, jump down, jump down. Leave the snail. Go, oh, I thought there was a peach just now. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Now what we're going to do is go out of this area, jump across the lily pads once again. Don't worry, the fireflies should still be following you. Should. Yeah. Hide behind this tree and then what they're going to do is make it look goddamn fine, girl. They're going to make it look fine, like a fine-ass wine, girl. And then that's that fruit's going to drop. We're going to skip the cutscene. Now take a picture of the otterdile here to get the glowing behavior captured and that should get you the out of this world, <laughs> that's funny, out of this world achievement for capturing all the Otterdale behaviours. If you haven't got the achievement, check your journal just to make sure, just to see which one you've got uh, or which one you haven't got. Otherwise, you should have it. So now we can go where the island spirit went and that is behind the waterfalls. Again, we are definitely coming up to the end of the level now. We are going to take a picture of the bat. The final bat is in here as well. So we are going to get the echo located and the river rafter achievement. This time with no crappy editing, which I'd done with the first um, Island Spirit uh, earlier on. So, uh, well, that's good, isn't it? Uh, so there's the Celestial Wing Bat. Take a picture of him. You should get the two achievements. And then just keep following the linear but rather lovely crystallated path. Want to chuck a couple of them in your bag you want, mate? You want to be rich? Chuck a couple of these in there. Right. Uh, now... I'll embarrassingly admit, I thought there was a way that you had to get this, and I thought it was glitched out for me. But all you got to do is literally just walk past the crystals, and then this bit happens automatically. So, um, yeah. So if you think, <laughs> if you think you're gonna try and grab it, no, you just walk past it, and the achievement unlocks. Whatever it takes. We get the journal page and then we just move on. So climb up the vines, and we're gonna be on the painted plateau final level. Tada! We're trekking on, on trekking on, which is that we are. Make it to the painted platieu. Man, English is so crap. Right, first things first, take a picture of the gecko. And then just above that, right in front of us, take a picture of the sunburst flowers. So the gecko and the sunburst flowers. What we're going to do is turn slightly to the left, take a picture of the burrow's tail. And when we turn around, we're going to see another new thing, which is a isopod, rose quartz isopod. Just above that is the backed glowworm, amethyst backed glowworm. Yeah, my English is just as good as my Spanish. It's non-existent. Um, <laughs> and that should be it for everything in the cave. When we exit the cave, there is going to be a lot that we're going to be snapping. So um, I'll try and go, like I said, as sort of fast slash slow paced as I go. Um, just so hopefully that you can catch up. But again, it'll just be one of those that if you're not on the same, uh, you know, same amount as me or whatever, then just keep spinning your camera around and eventually you'll get there. You should be fine anyway. So here we go. Coming out of the linear path then. And the first thing we're going to do is, um, well, this is the exit. And there's a lot of stuff for us to grab as well. Lots of flying things as well. So the Yellow Street Agave. And if we just have a look slightly to the right there, you can see the island, uh, the island lupine. You'll get, you should get that one anyway as well. Uh, the rock just in front of us is the Echeveria, and then slightly below that, there we go, is the jag, golden jaguar gecko, flying high. Always make sure to take pictures of the birds, uh, just because there's about six birds that we need to grab. So anytime you see one, just take a picture of it. Take a picture of the yucca plant up high, and then to the left is a bumblebee. 
uh, sort of just to the left, uh, next to that sort of small tree. Just underneath the bumblebee on the rock is a cactus that we're going to take a picture of, so do that. And then slightly to the right of that is a branded basilic. And then just to the left of the bumblebee and the gecko is a prickly pear. And I think, I believe that was it for that area. So to the right, to the right of this tree directly in front of us is a conehead mantis. Uh, there it is, so take a picture of that. And then just to the left of that, uh, sort of in between the two trees, uh, just to the third one there is a beetle. Which again, uh, and just to the left, ever so slightly of the waterfall, ever so slightly, we're going to take a picture of the chameleon, oxidised chameleon. And again, like I said, it's one of those that keeps spinning the camera around. And if you don't manage to get everything here, we'll see them in just a little bit anyway. So, nay panic about that. Uh, but I'm pretty sure now that is <laughs> that for this area. Um, I think I do take a picture here of a turtle, which is going to be directly in front of us again. There it is. So, right on the rocks, straight in front of us, I uh, took a picture of the Good Island Tortoise. Tortoise. And that, my friends, is that. So that was a lot that we sort of had to uncover and had to smash out just then. But, you know, we done it. So I got five reptiles, five bugs, one raptor, one bird, and eight plants. So hopefully you're on about this, uh, roughly about the same. If not, like I said, the more we progress the level, the more we'll be capturing other stuff anyway. So don't panic if you haven't got the exact same as me. Uh, otherwise, let's do a thing, man. Uh, so if you didn't manage to catch, capture the tortoise, he is on the left-hand side of us. Just having a, just having a little look around there. Uh, but we're going to go across this river. There's going to be a spider. And then we're going to grab the diamonds in the rough achievement. So right next to this rock, you can just see on the right-hand side, is the Mega Mirror Spider. And that gives us the diamonds in the rough achievement. And that's for capturing all gem bug photos here in the painted plateau. That spider should always be there, so, you know... Near Badaya, you no know, man. Ah, oh, there's the old chunky boy. The old slow chunky boy. Right, uh, take a lot of birds we're going to be taking a picture of here. So there's a condor. There are six different birds flying about. So every time you see one, like I said, highly advised, just take a picture of them. Um, just in case, even if it's the one that we've already captured. Do it anyway. Do it, do it, do it now. Do it good. Lick my nipple just like you should. My neck, my back. Lick my nipple just like that. Uh, sorry, uh, we are coming up to a new plant as well, the final plant actually, uh, sorry, the carbon lizard, it's not a plant, it's a reptile, and it is directly, basically it's on the way anyway, so you should get that one, and then you should get the ready or not achievement, uh, so, like I said, it's on the right hand side of this rocks as we're starting to climb up, uh, so, yeah, so we should be all good now with all the bugs and all the reptiles. It's just the birds we've got to look out for now. Um, and the vegetation photos. I think we've only got one left anyway. So, yeah. So when we just keep uh, moving up, we're going to see the griffin. And we're going to be like, Peter, Lois, Peter, Lois. Uh, griffin, get it? Family guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, family guy sucks bows these days. Right. The, whatever that is on the right hand side there, make sure to take a picture of that. And that should be it for this area. Uh, just before heading off, so the Chukakagra, Gragro, Gragro, whatever that was called. Take a picture of that before we head round. Um, again, a little bit of a cutscene, and there is going to be another cutscene. So take a couple of pictures of birds that you can. There are obviously, some might be perched on a lot of these trees, and some may just be flying about. So just keep having a little look around. Uh, flying behavior, so we've just got a picture of the griffin flying as well. Uh, so we've got one of his behaviors out of four. Uh, just having a little look around. Again, always check your journal just to see how many you've got left. For me, I think it was like the black black hawk or something, um, or whatever it was called. But it w I couldn't find it for ages. But again, we'll come to that in a minute. This cutscene's going to happen. Now, I thought... That it was this skip uh, cutscene that you couldn't skip, all to do with the journal. But it's actually the one, like I said, at the very end, where we pick the journal back up. So, if you want to skip this cutscene, be my guest, chicken breast.
Hmm? No, I was in Grandpa's will. He left that condom for me. Why did my grandpa leave me a condom? Yeah. Anyway, questions with many answers later on. So, right, I've got the Kakara, uh, which I believe now that gives me five out of six birds. So, now what I actually end up doing first is, go as we turn the corner, we need to be very careful because we're going to get the third island, um, the island spirit picture. So we are going to take... So there, uh, the Great Horn-Backed Owl, of course. That's what it was. I knew that, of course. Not Black Owl. There's nothing to do with being black. Um, although the owl is black, but he's just a Great horn back Owl. I'm confused. Anyway, that's all we need. But here, when we get to this point, it's probably worth making a save. Now, I actually show you myself making a save just in case you do mess up. Um... Because, as we cut, like I said, as we come to the end here, the island spirit is going to be just around the corner, just like in the first one. So don't rush in, all guns blazing, Tom Cruise, although Tom Cruise is crappy style. There's the island spirit, so take your time and take a couple of pictures of him. And that is the third out of four island spirits done. Now, the great hornback owl is going to be on this tree. Um, uh, yeah. He will be in just a moment, so I'm just going to go up to the Island Spirit, do the cutscene, skip the cutscene. Now, the reason why I don't just um, move on is because I don't think you can see, I'm not sure if you can see these birds at any other point. They fly around a bit and then come back to this area. There it is, so I finally got the Great Hornback Owl look, so he was there eventually. So if you don't yet, um, I highly advise just staying in this area, taking a picture of all six of the birds, get the Earning Your Wings achievement, and then we can move on. Also, hopefully you would have got the three out of four Island Spirit photos, and your grandpa's condom in your pocket. Again, why he left us that in his will instead of money and stuff, I don't know. Want to ask your granddad, well, maybe not, but you want to ask your grandma or someone. Why did he leave me? And why was there stuff in it? Anyway, there's the griffin. Don't worry about the griffin. You've already taken a picture of him, so we're all good. We are going to get the Sky Garden achievement for capturing all unique vegetation photos as well, and that is just around this corner. We literally have now roughly about 10 minutes of the game left. Probably less if you uh, just start getting through it. But the last bit of vegetation, take a picture. There it is, the glittering sunrise lily. That one is pretty much unmissable, because you need to do that to get up the old hulky bad boy once again. But, once we've got it, that is going to be the Sky Garden achievement, and we are all good. So just keep spamming it forward, blamming it forward for now, and we're coming up to a sort of boss, boss battle. I say sort of, because it's not really a boss battle, it's sort of a nothing. But dude, is he angry! <laughs> right, so what we're going to do now is just take a couple of pictures of him. We're going to whistle first and then take a picture of him when he's fla fla flapping his wings. So the way he does, so just press the X button once to whistle. He gusts his wings, then take a picture of it. Then what you can do is just stand behind one of these pillars and when you see he's about to pounce, and you'll see because he'll have all crap floating around him, then take a picture. So when he gets his feathers going, take a picture and that will be uh, three out of the four. Uh, the last one is for Roaring, but we'll get that after we pick up the journal. So we should have everything complete and we're all good. So what are we going to do for now then? There's no point whistling. Every time you whistle, he just shoves a gust of wind towards you and it literally helps in no time at all. It helps nothing. So what you got to do is just try, you know, try and walk by him, get, get his attention and just stand behind all three of these pillars until he attacks it. And we are golden as bows. I mean, 
obviously in other games and in real life, if there was something like this, I assume he wouldn't just be um, trying to attack pillars and walking around. He would have gobbled you whole. And not in a good way either. Yeah, what am I paying you for? Come in! Come in! Yeah, it can take a couple of minutes, by the way, this path. Come in! Look, Kitty wants some cat nibble? Ah, Scheisenhausen! Right then, we got there. We're all good. So now we can just climb up the ramp again. Make sure that you've got uh, the three out of the four photo moments for flapping his wings and being all pissed off and trying to attack you and everything. And you think, once again, this would be a bit of a hard puzzle, but it's really not, because as soon as... You don't actually have to hide behind one of the pillars here. You can literally just keep running, and then he flaps his wings the other side. Watch. Watch now. I'm like, oh, do I do it? Do I? And then as soon as you move to the next pillar, he's like... Ah, I'm just... He's just pissing with us. He's trolling us, bruh. Uh, right, so, Griffin Roaring. By the way, we are going to be coming up to the end cutscene, where again, we are not going to be skipping the cutscene. <laughs> Highly important, that. Uh, as we climb up this vine for the last friggin' time. And we're going to take a picture. Like I said, if you didn't have the sunset lily thing uh, taken a picture of, we are going to get that now. So if you didn't get it earlier, you should get the Sky Garden achievement right. Meow. So we're going to skip the, uh, the cutscene now. That's fine. Whistle, so he gets all pissed off. Somehow let a rock not crush your head. And then climb up the old Hulk wiener. And this is, yeah, this is pretty, pretty much the end of the game now. So you are going to unlock a whole ton of achievements here right at the very end. So climb up. <sighs> Sorry, that, that, that's not me being ill or anything. That's me gasping for breath watching you, uh, watching her run up those steps. Slinky, slinky, go, slinky, go! Oh, man! And if you're not old enough to watch any of the Ace Ventura films, I highly advise doing that right now to know exactly what that slinky joke was about. Anyway, once we climb up here, this is the end part. So what we're going to do, do not skip the next cutscene. When you pick up the journal, do not skip this cutscene. For the love of God, I'm going to tell you a lefty times. Don't skip the cutscene. Don't skip this cutscene. Don't skip this cutscene. Don't skip this cutscene. Don't skip this cutscene. That felt about 11 times. But do not skip this cutscene. Keep watching. Enjoy. Because, by the way, if you do skip the cutscene, you'll void the achievement. That's why I'm telling you not to skip the cutscene. So, what do I say? S don't skip the goddamn cutscene.
broski's old friends again. Right, so we get the apology achievement. Now, do not pick up the journal just yet. Do not pick up the journal. The, the island spirit guy is going to be in front of you. So, now, what you should get, when you take a picture of that, you should get the dear to my heart achievement. And, yeah, dear to my heart achievement. Then take a picture of the griffin for the raw, uh, for the raw. And that should get you the feeling fine achievement and the mountain hiker achievement. So you should get three achievements there. In fact, you should also get the professional wildlife photographer achievement as well. So you should get four achievements right now. So dear to my heart, professional wildlife photographer, magic re uh, feeling fine, and mountain hiker. Then, after you've got those four and you've only got two achievements left, you can pick it up. And then you should get the Magic Restore achievement for beating the game for the first time. And then the Master Photographer achievement for getting all the other achievements. So, now you should have, what was that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So you should have six achievements just blasted at you quicker than an absolute fucking loving cake party. I assume, yeah, that'll do. But anyway, there we go then, guys and gals. So that was the Beasts of Maravilla Island. I've seen more beasts in my underpants, to be honest, but uh, apart from the griffin and the island spirit. But apart from that, yeah, no, it was a decent game. I enjoyed it. I hope you did as well. And I hope the guide helped. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big, massive shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. You guys and gals are just Plamissimo legends. And here we go. So, with that one being done, well, what's next on the Games of Gold Relictor? Yeah, I'm gonna see you. I'm gonna be doing a guide for a lictor, so don't you panic. But I will see you in the next video, guy, uh, guide, guide, <laughs> guys and gals. <laughs> Big love.